sun peel on your lovely black. Hi. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about your studio? Well, this studio is um, in an empty warehouse building that was converted to artist studios. So this is just one studio, and there's about 15 artist studios here. And um, we have a print shop in the basement and some classrooms, and people work in all different media. Um, I am learning to do, I do ceramics, there's my wheel. Um, and there's kilns in the basement. And um, right now I'm learning to do mosaics. And so right there is a, a mosaic I did. I, I made the tiles from clay. And then... Yeah. It's just yeah, it's really hard to cut. Oh, cool. And these prints on the wall I made in the print shop, they're screen prints. And so I'm learning screen printing. And... We have a paper making studio, so I'm working on learning to use paper. So these masks are made out of handmade paper. And then now I'm embroidering them. Are you embroidering nostrils? And here are the nostrils right there. <laughs> they were very funny to embroider nostrils indeed. How did you make them? I made them first I made a mask out of clay, which is right here. Okay, let me see. Cool. And then I covered it with saran wrap, and then I mixed the paper pulp and put it over the top and let it dry. Um, what are those in front of you? These are my paper nests that um, I we we have to do an exhibit about something with us using paper. So this is what I want to use, and they are. Um, I thought paper is very light and fragile, and it reminds me of nests and that are very temporary. And so here are the nests, and here are those rocks from Door County on the beach that that we saw in Washington Island. Inside of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at there's a butterfly. There's a butterfly in that one. And so here are all my glazes and my glazed tiles. That's cool. So that's how you know what colors to choose. Yeah. And then I'm starting to do sculpture. So here are my two latest. Weird sculptures. This one was, I was thinking about doing a series of sculpture dealing with the roles of women and just. Does that say try my pot? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's how far I've gotten with those. And then I paint, and this is, um, oh, I like your this is my self portrait that I did recently because we're doing a little project with self portraits, and that's my friend Tato. That's, that reminds me of Van Gogh's postman. Have you ever seen that? I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe. You should show Jesse so you can, you should stand next to your self-portrait. <laughs> like in the sunlight. Well, no, it's really hard to get it with sunlight and, and you have to get on the side. Does there, look, that, there we go. Does it look like me? I don't it know. It totally looks like you. <laughs> cool. Do you know the artist Alice Neal? No. I've been into her lately, and I was trying to kind of do it in her style. This little dog over here, look at this. This is Nugget. This is, um, Stacy made this, and his head blew off in the kiln. But <laughs> What's a kiln, Jesse? A kiln is like a big oven where you uh, bake your pots at very high temperatures for many, many hours. <laughs> do you have any advice for somebody who wants to be an artist? That you should stick to your guns and just do it, and it doesn't matter if you study it or don't study it, although you should if you can, and just keep doing it and, you know, oh, here's a good thing to know, like, you're not going to like everything you do, but you should mm -hmm. just do it and get it out there and then move on to the next thing and don't get hung up on if it's good or not. Just do it and just keep moving on to the next thing and don't, you know, because it Somebody may like it. You may think it's ugly, and somebody may just love it. The next person <laughs> may love it. And even if it does suck, you've got to do some bad to get to the good. Hey, what, what did you do when you were in fourth grade? Like, what kind of art did you do? Uh, do you remember, Ma? Jesse wrote a lot of poetry. Yeah. Jesse's my oldest friend, Britta. <laughs> um, and you painted, you did tie dyes in the basement. Um, <laughs> it's probably later. But I probably painted. I think the first yeah. thing did I did Did you draw? Was paint. Did you do a lot of sketchbooks and stuff or no? You know, I kind of feel like I was I doodled, but I was never yeah. like a really big drawer. 
Mm -hmm. But drawing is like the basis for a lot of stuff. So, and, and people, you can carry sketchbook anywhere. So I definitely mm -hmm. encourage people to do that. Yeah. Personally, I haven't done it enough, but yeah. whatever. Everybody cool. has their own process. Where do you get your ideas? I get my ideas um, from from looking at other people's artwork for sure, and then just usually I don't have a plan uh, in mind before I start something. I just maybe have a concept like that. I want to do a self portrait, but. I just mm -hmm. take out a paintbrush and start going. Like I don't, or those mosaics. I just rolled out a slab of clay and just started going. So it's just whatever pops into my head at the moment for the most part. And I, I think that's a fine way to work. But I think a lot of established artists have plans before they start, and they plan to have a body of work. So like five things, five mosaics that go together you know, 10 prints that go together. So that's kind of what I'm moving towards right now is trying to develop more consistency in what I'm doing, but I'm kind of just all over the place, which, so it's really hard for me. That's why I sometimes think I'm too ADD <laughs> with my artwork, because I'm just like, oh, I can't just... I think I also have this German thing going on too, which is like my own heritage, and I think it's so interesting how, like, why is that? I feel like there's something to the human genetics. Was it she sprays it with polyurethane and like yeah. But you, do, you know it's